hammocks up here, probably better further up there. Get the hammocks up here, between these trees. Got a couple of stumps here. What have you? Certainly beautiful stunning places you can sit. But we're heading further up this river, hunting for a wee couple of camping spots that me and Ken has got to be coming up and camping in two weeks' time. So we've got to sit out, bottle of wine, have our tent suit or hammocks, and chill and sit our night with the tilly lamps on, tilly lamps on, a bit of lighting, and a location like this. You certainly got to watch your foot. The path is so overgrown. See here by my feet. There's a sort of a ravine at my left hand side, and I can hardly see the path. What we are getting there. I'm just carving you in. You'll be able to hear a waterfall right next to it. Well worth it for sites like these. I'm actually heading up and got to be doing a ridge walk. I'm heading up the cauldron's burn here. Whoop. A wee pool. 
Oh, it's not very deep. But nice. It's a beautiful day. I'm heading right up through this valley and up onto the hill on the left hand side and I've got to come back that ridge walk up there and all the way back. This is our camp spot, or one of them anyway. Got a few tents in here. It's a wee slog to get up here but nothing too difficult. Have a look at them logs over there in a minute. So what are we taking? Come up here, spend all day up here. Lovely. Loads of places to sit. Got another couple of tents up here. Nice spot right here. Normally I head up that hill but there's a road that brings you right to this spot here and look at this park up look at this wow this is the place to come What a camp. See they made a wee path so far up which is absolutely brilliant. And then it'll turn into a trail. No, as a matter of fact, the gun's right up there. You dancer, I, th I knew I seen a path. I'm going to follow it up. Normally we used to go up through that gap there, which there is a path, but they've built a path right up here. That is just fantastic. Let's follow it and see where it ends. But this is the place to camp, Kenny. There's wee bits down there. There's a flat bit just beyond there you can put your tent. There are bits over there. Absolutely stunning place. And of course you can put hammocks up in there where the trees are. Right next to the river. Oh no, this is a game changer. I mean, imagine just sitting down there, camping down there, put your tents up, down there, plenty of room. Sit by the river. 
This is where the river forks. Up there and off to the right. Loads of lovely spots in there for hammocks. Loads of lovely spots for sitting to the side of the river. There's the path on the opposite side, and Kenny, there's that bit we were talking about coming out through the trees, that wee flat bit there. And of course the path, the original path comes up through there, and I'm just on the opposite side. I might cross the world, see. I might just follow this way up. It's going in the same direction. But instead of coming right up the burn, which is a bit taxing at the beginning, there's a lot easier way. It's still a good hike. But when you're coming up for a camp and you're carrying fire logs and all that, this is the way to come. Well, this heather is a leg sapper. <laughs> Saps you. The energy out your legs. But, it's good fun. A good exercise at the same time. Whew. And there's nobody to be seen. You can just sit up here sweating <laughs> and chill. It's beautiful. I normally gun up, come up, start hill behind me and across. So we change. Ooh. Well, I've reached the point <coughs> that I wanted to make the day. It's took me three and a half hours to get here because of the terrain. Started at nine o'clock, it's about half twelve now, and I've travelled seven miles. So you know I've got that to get back to the car. But I'm going to take that ridge back, which is probably going to make it a bit longer. Over behind me there's Curly Wee, which takes you down to the White Lag in Bothy. Now I've done that route before, so uh, I'll, I'll take that ridge there back. So that'll probably be a total of seven hours hike in the day and probably a distance between 13 and 14 miles by the time I've finished. So that's a good day. Time for a chalky bar and some Bovril and my nice wee pink flask. Cheers everybody. Man, that's hit the spot. We're not having any breakfast this morning. I felt it a wee bit, my energy levels were dropping because I've been doing a lot of training. That's nice. Have a wee Snickers bar, I think. Well earned. See everybody, there's Merrick just over there. That's across the valley. There'll be loads of folk up there today. Hardly anybody comes up this side. I can actually see Ayr's Rock for here. I can see the Isle of Arran. This, this is what I call fun. Right in the middle of nowhere. Great camping spots up here, fantastic camping spots up here. There's Curly Wee behind me, White Lag and Bothy's over behind that. You can see the coast away down there, the sea, 
See the Lake District away in the background? That's the ridge I'll be taking back down. Down there's the way I come up. There is Ayers Rock there. Ayers Rock is just right there. Isle Arran, you can see away in the distance way behind it. And of course over there is Merrick. Beautiful. Day 80. I'm a 90 days training. And I'll give you, I'll make a, a video of how I did it. I've got another 10 days to go on, and I'll make a video. And in 90 days, I'll tell you how much weight I've lost, how many inches I've lost off my waistline. In 90 days, 90 days, you can lose a lot of weight, but you've got to put the time in, you've got to be consistent. So watch out for that video.